Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to discuss with you a recent article that appeared in the Washington Post about CyberKnife radiotherapy, a relatively newer addition to the ways of delivering radiation to the prostate gland. First, what is CyberKnife therapy? Well, it draws on a fundamental property or principle called hypofractionation. That means that we're going to give you more radiation each time you get treated, but as a consequence, we'll get your treatment done in many fewer treatments than we normally would do. Normally, conventional radiation uses 30 treatments. The IMRT uses about 20 treatments. With the CyberKnife, you can get down to between three and five. So one obvious advantage is you can get the treatment done much sooner. How is this treatment done? Well, first, a urologist will place some markers inside your prostate, and that's done under ultrasound guidance and is less discomfort usually than those that you get or that you get with a biopsy. After that, a CAT scan is performed so that the doctors can plan how much radiation and where they're going to give it to you because it varies a little bit for each individual. And then you go in for your treatments. The treatments last about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. It depends. And a robotic arm moves around the body, delivering the radiation from different angles. And this is automatically adjusted by the computer in relation to the markers in your body and the amount of radiation that will be delivered. So that's how it's done. Now, what's the controversy? Well, it's being promoted in many places around the country. And one of the things that are being advertised is that it's safer, fewer side effects, it's going to be more effective. What's the truth? The truth is there's no such studies that permit such an analysis. There's very limited data in the, uh, in the scientific reports to tell us exactly how the complications compare to the complication rates you get with the other forms of radiation. The theory behind this hypofractionation is that prostate cancer cells may be more susceptible to getting a lot of radiation in a short number of treatments compared to normal tissues. So you might get more effective killing of the cancer without causing more side effects. But that is entirely a theory that has not been proven out at this point. So whether it's going to be safer and as effective or more effective is something we're just not going to know for many years. And that's what the controversy about in this article. It's getting promoted and getting advertised. It's on billboards without this kind of information that we would like, that would allow us to say to a patient, I can give you radiation by different methods, whether it's conventional, IMRT, or CyberKnife, or some of the others that are available, and this one is the best for you because the results are better and or the complications are lower. There is no such information available. So where does that leave you as a patient? Just be aware of it, that if it gets discussed, that you're aware of the limited information available at this time. Now you might decide, so what? You don't want to wait five years or 10 years or longer to find out exactly how good it is. You like the theory behind it and you're willing to take the risk that the theory does not prove to be correct. And you say, I'm going to do my treatment now even though there isn't this long-term follow-up information. On the other hand, when you go in and discuss this, this, this treatment, if a doctor says, well, we really don't know if it's as good, you may be the kind of person that says, I'd rather do something that has more long-term results available because I'm concerned right now that I'm going to take care of my cancer and you can't tell me for sure that this newer form of the radiation is going to accomplish that goal. So be careful about these controversies. Make sure you ask good questions about the incidence of side effects, how often they occur, and how severe they occur. For example, the two main side effects are problems with urination and problems with your bowels. Well, those can be characterized from very minimal to very severe. You want to know not only how often they occur, but what is the characterization? Are they grade one, grade two, grade three, or grade four? Those are different ways of characterizing the extent of side effects that are seen. You want as much information about that as possible so that you can weigh the pros and cons of this versus other treatments. 
And in the end, we're going to be faced with the same situation we are in so many aspects of prostate cancer. We get a new technology, we get very excited about it, but it gets promoted and advertised without true data, honest data that allows us to say for sure, how good is it really for you? Hopefully you'll find this information useful. Thank you.